Are you looking for a gift for the coffee lover in your life but struggling on what to get? Well, you're in luck because I'm going to give you 50 options in varying price ranges so you can get the perfect gift within your budget. Hello, my name is Stephen Holm and I'm with Homegrounds. We're a place to help you brew and enjoy better quality coffee right at home. And today we're gonna help you get some gifts for the coffee lover in your life. Now, before I go any further, I do wanna mention that it is almost Black Friday when this video comes out, and there are deals that are exclusively available through Homegrounds. So I'm gonna leave a link at the top of the description, and some of those deals will probably last past Black Friday, so be sure to check that out anytime you're watching this to get some great deals. So let's hop right into the video. So today I'm going over 50 gift options for the coffee lover in your life. Now these are all items that I have personally used and I can vouch for. A lot of them have been used on this YouTube channel, so I will try to leave links for those whenever possible. And just so you know, there will be affiliate links in the description. Those don't cost you any extra, they just help us out by giving us a very small percentage so that we can make more videos just like this. Now today's video will be divided into three budget categories. We have zero to $100, 100 to 500, and 500 plus. So I'll leave all those as time codes in the video so you can just skip forward to whatever you're looking for. Now without further ado, let's hop into the gifts. Now the best recommendation I have as a gift for a coffee lover under $100 is for a coffee subscription because they may have all of the gear, all of the tools to make great coffee, but they will never not need coffee beans. And what better gift than to allow them to get those beans on their schedule however often they want. We've talked about quite a few subscriptions on this channel. A few that I highly recommend are Trade Coffee, Atlas Coffee, and Drift Away. They all offer slightly different things. Trade offering roasters across the country, Atlas offering a special coffee directly from them every month, and then Drift Away is really great for people who maybe aren't sure what sort of coffee they're looking for. They have a whole explorer box that your coffee lover can figure out exactly what they want from the service. So there are lots of options out there for coffee subscriptions, and those are the few that I would recommend. Next up are some great coffee brewers that can be gotten for under $100. First off is the AeroPress. The AeroPress is a highly versatile coffee brewer that I pretty much recommend to anyone. Next is the Hario V60. It's a classic, and if your coffee lover doesn't already have one, this is a great addition to their brewing collection. Next is the Origami Dripper. This is a beautiful coffee brewer that can use both flat and cone bottom filters, so it's very versatile and very beautiful. Then we have the Next Level Zero Bypass Brewer. I've done a couple videos on this and it makes really delicious coffee and it's a really unique brewer that probably many people don't already have. The last pour over brewer I would recommend is a Chemex. I don't have one here because it's at home, but they are a very beautiful glass brewer that looks great on a countertop and makes really delicious coffee. Another brewer that I would recommend for someone that really likes cold brew is a cold brewer. This is the one from OXO. It makes a really delicious concentrate that you can then dilute down to your preferences, and it makes the whole process really easy and simple. Another cold coffee option for someone that likes iced coffee but not necessarily cold brew is the Cold Wave Beverage Chiller. I have it at home, it sits in my freezer. It takes hot coffee and cools it down rapidly to chilled iced coffee. It's really great for someone that maybe doesn't necessarily love cold brew, but great on those hot summer days when you don't really want hot coffee. The last brewer I would recommend under $100 is the Waikako Nano Presso. This makes really delicious espresso, like almost just as good as you can get from any high-end machine, and it's super affordable and really easy to use. Next up, I'm gonna talk about some coffee grinders. Now, coffee grinders get really expensive, but you can save a lot of money and still get a really high quality one by opting for a hand grinder. So I have two great options right here that I've used. There are a lot of hand grinders out there, but I like these two. This is the Porlex Mini. It is extremely small, really portable, and does a really good job grinding coffee on a really cheap budget. Next, I have one from Normcore. This one feels a lot more robust and heavy than the Porlex Mini, and it's great for someone that still wants a really great grind quality on the go, it still packs away nice and small. Really good hand grinder. Now, if you know that the person you're getting a gift for doesn't wanna hand grind their coffee every morning, it's understandable. There are a couple grinders I'd recommend under $100. 
The first being the Oxo Brew Conical Grinder. I don't have it here, but I've used one in the past. It's a really great coffee grinder. It uses burrs, so you know you're gonna get a better quality grind than using any sort of blade grinder. Now an honorable mention in this category, I'm gonna throw in the Baratza Encore. Even though it does cost more than $100 brand new, you can get them used for under 100 and sometimes refurbished depending on where you look. And it's a really, really great grinder that lasts a long time. So that's one that I wouldn't be worried about buying used because it's going to last and it's gonna make great coffee. The last category is looking at some accessories that can be had under $100. The biggest one I would probably say is a scale. If the person you're getting a gift for doesn't already have one, these are really important for brewing great coffee and there are two I'd recommend. One is from Hario, it is their Hario brew scale. And then this one from Escali can be had for, I think around $60 and it is just as good as some scales that are over 100. So those two I would really recommend. And then after that, we can get into some espresso based accessories. And there are a lot of companies manufacturing these accessories, so I'm just gonna stick with one because I featured them in a video in the past, and that is Normcore. They make distribution tools, tampers, puck screens, and then these steaming pitchers that you see here, and they're all really high quality, and I think for the price, super affordable for what you're getting. The last thing that I will mention under $100 is if you're getting a gift for the person who seemingly has all of this stuff, they have everything, Maybe they wanna get into roasting. And for that, I would recommend the Nuvo Eco Hand Roaster. It is just a little handheld roaster that you hold over an open flame and you spin the coffee around and you can get really great tasting coffee out of it. And it's a great introduction into coffee roasting for someone that's never done it before at a fairly reasonable price. Now once we step above the $100 mark and go in the $1 to $500 range, we can start looking at some espresso makers, both in the higher end of the manual category and then in the budget of the semi-automatic machines. And so let's start over here with the Wekako Pico Presso. I believe this is the best espresso that you can get while traveling. It's only this size, you only need a grinder with it, and you get delicious cafe quality espresso. Moving on from there, we look at espresso makers from Flair. They have a wide range, ranging from the low hundreds to I believe around $500. And all these machines are capable of making really great espresso. And at a really great price point, you're just spending a little bit less because it is a manual machine. Now there are two sort of budget friendly semi-automatic machines I would recommend. And those are the Breville Bambino and the Gaggia Classic Pro. Those are two very well-known espresso machines that make really great quality espresso and will be really great for the person just getting into espresso that doesn't want to spend hundreds and hundreds or even thousands of dollars on a machine. Now, if someone already has a great espresso maker, maybe they need an upgraded grinder. And there are a couple espresso-based grinders that I would recommend for under $500. The first being the Eureka Mignon Zero. I made a full video about that recently it is a great single dosing espresso grinder for a great price. The other one I just got in, it's right back here. It is the Turin DF64. I'm gonna be making a whole video about this grinder, but it is very well known out there. People are loving this grinder and it does both espresso and filter grinding. Now moving on from espresso, we can look at drip coffee and there are a couple great drip coffee machines I would consider looking at under $500. And those are the Breville Precision Brewer and the Technivorm Mocha Master. These are two great coffee brewers for the coffee enthusiasts at home. They're a little pricey as far as coffee makers go, but they are up to standards of the Specialty Coffee Association, so you know you're gonna get a great cup, and they both look really great doing it. Now, as far as drip coffee goes, there are a few grinders in this price range that I would highly recommend looking at. One is, like I said earlier, the Turin DF64. It can go espresso to drip, and so it's great for that person looking to make pretty much anything coffee-wise. Next, look at the Fellow Ode, especially the Generation 2 that came out recently. I made a whole video on that grinder, and it is really, really great for filter coffee grinding. Lastly, I would look at anything from Baratza. The Baratza Encore that I mentioned earlier, or the Virtuoso or the Sete, those are all gonna be great grinders for under $500. 
from a reputable company that will last for a really long time. Now the last thing I will mention again for under $500 is a coffee subscription. And at this range, you can look at getting an annual subscription. Now a lot of subscription companies like the ones I mentioned earlier offer really great savings on annual packages, especially around this time of year. So be sure to check those out. Now lastly, if you have over $500 to spend on the coffee lover in your life, you are most likely looking at either espresso machines or really high-end grinders. So let's start with espresso machines. One I'd really recommend that is just coming out is the Chris's Coffee Sorella. I have a whole video on that I made a couple months back. It is a beautiful machine. It's dual boiler. It's everything someone could ever want in a high-end espresso machine. I also have the Lilit Mara X back here that I have another video about. It's a great machine and I think a great price for what you're getting. Now another company that's making a really wide range of really great espresso machines is Breville. I mentioned them earlier with the Bambino, but they have quite a few options nowadays. They have the Barista Express and the Dual Boiler and the Oracle and a few in between, really catering to pretty much anyone looking to make espresso at home within any budget. So I would highly recommend looking at those machines. They're gonna be very feature packed and really exciting. The last machine I will mention and it is quite the splurge, is the La Marzocco Linea Mini. Now pretty much any coffee enthusiast knows about this machine. It makes incredible espresso, it looks beautiful, and it's just pretty much the ultimate level of home espresso that you can get. I also wanna throw out some super automatic espresso machines here. Those are machines that pretty much do everything for you. So they're for someone in your life who absolutely loves coffee, but doesn't wanna go through all the work of doing all of these manual things themselves. Super automatic machines can make really great coffee and you can get some at a pretty good price range, especially this time of year. I don't personally have any or have much experience with them, but we have a whole article on the Home Grounds website that I'll link to below. And Jura makes some really great super automatic machines that are having big savings this time of year. Now the last few things in the over $500 category are some grinders. I do want to preface this by saying that if someone is looking to spend over $500 on a coffee grinder, they are probably getting a grinder for a very specific reason. So make sure to check with them on what they're looking for and maybe they'll just give you exactly the machine that they want. But if you need some recommendations, I have a few. First off is one from Turin. They make the DF64 that I mentioned a few times earlier, but they recently came out with the DF63. I also have that machine back here. And I will be making a full video review about it soon, but it's an 83 millimeter flat burr coffee grinder for your home that is under $800, which is pretty much unheard of. So that's a big one to look out for. And then a couple others that I've used on this channel, one being the Fiorenzato F4 All Ground. I used this one a while back and I got really great espresso quality grinds out of there and it can also do anything from espresso all the way to cold brew. It's a great grinder for the home, really beautiful looking, and just overall makes great coffee. The very last grinder that I will recommend that is pretty much the one to rule them all that can do everything is the Malconic EK43. Now this thing is a beast, it is massive, way too big for most people at home. They do make the EK43S, which shrinks it down a little bit, but it's still pretty big. But this is basically the ultimate level of grinder that you can have at home. It can do everything from espresso to cold brew and do it all super well. It's a great grinder and for the price, you are spending quite a bit, but it is a really great machine. So those are the 50 items that I would recommend as gifts for the coffee lover in your life. I know I went through everything really fast. I just wanted to make sure I was able to go through every single item. But if you have any additional questions, let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to check out some of our other videos and maybe those will give you some more ideas. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy brewing.